the obligatory cup of tea. Cheers. I don't smoke. So the other day I was online shopping and I bought myself an ashtray. Now, why would you buy yourself an ashtray if you don't smoke? Well, the fact of the matter is that several years ago now, an auntie of mine died. She was 92 and I found her dead on the living room floor, unfortunately. She lived in a tumble down old cottage. It wasn't until the, the last couple of years of her life that she got a telephone and a television. I often wonder what she used to do in the evenings without the television. She would never had a fridge in her entire life. She would keep her milk in the pan outside the back door. Cottage was uh, not really in a good state. So anyway, when she was younger, her and some of her brothers and sisters were given some shares. Now I don't know what the shares were in or how much they were worth. I suspect late 40s, early 50s when I think this occurred, as far as I know. It wouldn't have been very much, worth very much. But they didn't know what to do with the shares. So somebody came up with the idea, give the shares to Madeline, she'll know what to do with them. That's Nancy, which they all did. So, when we're going through the cottage now, going through the paperwork, and we tot up the sort of finances, if you will, she's worth just over half a million. So, the old lady did very well for herself. Obviously there's, as in the case of anybody that dies, there's always stuff left over. I mean, well, unless you die in absolute poverty, but I mean, generally by and large, when somebody dies, there's always belongings and stuff left over. And there was quite a bit of stuff from her father, my grandfather, Albert, grandfather Albert. And one of the things Albert collected was Wedgwood pottery. There was a particular type of pottery. It was called Wedgwood Clavelli. Clavelli being a little village in Devon, up in North Devon. And my father, grandfather's occupation was listed as chauffeur. But also he used to drive coaches as well. He was coach driver. So, from that, you can imagine that he got about a bit. Actual fact, 
nobody really has a good word to say about Albert. Apparently a very stern man, quite a, a strict man, so I'm led to believe. So nobody really has a good word to say about Albert. I personally never met the man. Well, he died in... I was born in 1963, and Albert died in 1970. So, I don't believe I ever met the man. And I would be too small to really remember anyway if I did. I think he visited... I was born on a farm at the tip end of Cornwall. Um, small holding in the middle of the countryside and I believe he visited it once now whether that was when I was born or before I was born I'm not sure but even if it was when I was born I'd be too small to remember meeting him so for all intents and purposes you know I never met the man but I will not have anything bad said against him, I will not have a bad word said against him, for two reasons, firstly, he went through the Kaiser's War, and who knows what he went through and what he saw in the Kaiser's War, that's enough to turn anybody, and secondly, he's not here to defend himself, so I will not have a bad word said against him. But getting back to the pottery thing, obviously he got about a bit, and so <clears throat> he would buy little bits of Wedgwood Clavelli, wherever he was. He'd buy it, apparently, in itself, so I'm told he would buy it piecemeal, piece here, piece there. And I suppose it was also when he could afford it, afford a piece. So you know, I've got to spare a few quid. I'll buy a piece of Clavelli on and so and so. I'll buy a piece of Clavelli. Um, and he built, he built, actually built up quite a coffee set of Richard Clavelli. Um, where we were sorting out at his cottage, there was this Richard Clavelli coffee set and nobody wanted it nobody wanted it except me it's um, as far as I can gather it's from the 1930s some people list it as 19, the 1950s but I think it's earlier than that I think it's the 1930s I'll tell you for why I think that in a minute. It comes in a range of different colours. I've seen it in... Mostly you see it in black. The designs are in black. But I've seen it in red, blue, green, and two shades of brown. White brown and dark brown. And um, I've never been able to get any green or any of the browns or any red to come to that I'd love to get get some pieces of that but here's a black piece this bowl you see that there, you can see that but it does say Cavelli down the bottom and that design is done by the artist Rex Whistler, who was a very, very fine artist. You see, it's, I don't know if you'll be able to see that on here, but it's signed there, Rex Whistler, Wedgwood Clavelli. And Rex Whistler, born in 1905 and died in 1944 in France during the war. So the war robbed us of a very fine artist as the First World War 
Well, that's a two fine parrots. Worth it out when you see for the season. That's war for you. Doesn't care who it kills. So that's Richard Clearly. I actually bought this piece online. This bowl. I can't remember what I paid for it now. So that's what Grandad had been collecting piecemeal. I don't know whether he bought it just because he liked it or because he was accumulating it for financial reasons or to hand down to somebody. I don't know what his thinking was behind why he was collecting the Clavelli. It's now actually getting quite expensive to buy pieces of it. Um, here's a coffee cup. Very small coffee can. Again, black. That's mostly what you see. This is black. And here's... Oh, here's the ashtray that I bought. The Clavelli ashtray. So I thought it would be rather nice keep the little tradition going of the Clavelli coffee set and do exactly what grandfather was doing and buy a piece here, a piece there when I can find it and adding to it because um, I do it for his sake, I do it for his sake yeah, here's some blue here's a little Tankard in blue. And here's the equivalent ashtray in blue. I don't think that's as good as the black. Excuse me, my door is now knocking. Forgive me. Package just arrived. Yeah, so I don't think the blue is as good as the black. It's not as sharp. You can see it's not as sharp. But still nice to have. Still nice to have. And I've got... Um, Quite a good stack of plates now, and um, all the stuff that he, well, he didn't leave it me, but all the stuff that I inherited, like coffee cups and saucers and coffee pot, and so it's coming along nice. So I thought, well, yeah, we would do it, um, keep the little tradition going, and it's it's nice to have, and it's going up in value, and we'll also do it for Grandad Albert. So that's why I bought a co uh, that's why I bought an ashtray when I don't smoke. Thanks for watching.